Ever since the major trade war between the United States and China began just a little while ago, the propaganda against China has been ratcheted up to a new degree. One of the most recent claims is that China has these huge camps where Muslims are imprisoned simply because of their religion, as if yet I've seen no solid evidence of these places actually existing and this kind of persecution actually taking place. However, the latest accusation against China, which has managed to make its way to the UN General Assembly, is the accusation that since the year 2000, 1.5 million people in China have had their organs harvested by the state. An investigation by the Grey Zone has found that these allegations originate from the front group run by the far-right opposition cult Fall on Gong. You'll recognize them as the ones who frequently perform Qigong exercises while wearing yellow, who also call for the U.S. to invade China. Their group is a doomsday cult that believes that the end is coming soon, and that Trump was sent by heaven to destroy the Chinese Communist Party. Now, these allegations of organ trafficking have come from an organization called the China Tribunal. The organization claims to be an independent tribunal into forced organ harvesting from prisoners of conscience in China. The China Tribunal is owned by the International Coalition to End Transplant Abuse in China. They claim to be a not-for-profit organization. Their website gives no information on their origins or the responsibilities of its members. The executive director and co-founder, Susie Hughes, Margot McVicker, is named as the New Zealand national manager. Rebecca James is the UK national manager for outreach, and so on. Who are these people? Where do they come from, and what's their connection? Well, an investigation by NBC News found that these people work for an organization called the Epoch Times. Now, if you'll recall, this is a right-wing news organization that exists uh, primarily on the Internet, and you've probably seen many of their ads on Facebook. Now, it has been determined that the Epoch Times is owned by Falun Gong, and they have spent $1.5 million to put pro-Trump, uh, over 11,000 pro-Trump ads on Facebook alone. Now, these aforementioned managers of the International Coalition to End Transplant Abuse in China, Susie Hughes has photographer credits on Epoch Times articles. Her name seems to have been removed, but the photos are merely credited to the Epoch Times. But the credit still shows up on Google searches. Margot McVicker has numerous articles promoting Shen Yu, Falun Gong's traveling dance show. Rebecca James is listed as an organizing a Falun Gong exhibition in Bristol. ETAC's UK National Manager for Initiatives, Andy Moody, is credited by the Epoch Times as a reporter for its sibling NTD, or the New Tang Dynasty Television, Falun Gong's TV arm. Victoria Ledwidge appears in another Epoch Times article coming to greet Shen Yu performers in London. With such obvious connections between these allegations and the Falun Gong, who are a known cult and someone who has been frequently prop propped up not just by the CIA, but the New Tang Dynasty Television, which has re received uh, several million dollars from the Canadian government to help them broadcast. You would think that with such very obvious connections, they would be very forthcoming with this kind of information and admitting that there is a conflict of interest here. Yet that has not been the case. In fact, many of the accusations that have been made against China were just rumors on the internet created and uh, perpetuated by pages just like this until it got picked up by The Guardian and the independent organizations which claim to be independent of the mainstream narrative and investigate accusations like this. Now, eventually, because of that, it made its way into the UN General Assembly, and these accusations were leveled against China, which are then picked up by Reuters and other mainstream news organizations, and the accusations against China grow from there. Yet, when we do an investigation, as the Gray Zone has, we dig deep and we find that the, the connections to these, we find that these allegations are actually coming from a doomsday cult, that literally believes that the Communist Party of China is a satanic organization and that very soon the end of the world is coming to wipe out that same Communist Party. So once again, what we have is the mainstream media going with deliberate lies 
against China in order to forward U.S. foreign policy. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.